Yo, 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 what up, YouTube Yaks? This is your boy Daddy Easy here. I bought Drop a Hacker, otherwise known as Only Easy and Tomahawks. Some of y'all may know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the blue, my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So today I'm going to show you basically how to take apart your Asus uh, ROG G20AJ um, desktop right here. Now, this unit that I got is actually used, refurbished. So basically, um, it's actually something wrong with my GPU. I'm going to show you how to take it apart and get the GPU out if you plan on switching that out. So this one was already open. on um, I contacted the manufacturer. Somebody's already previously been inside of this. So, um, you know, I already contacted them to know somebody's been in it. And um, I'm going to check some things out inside of this thing and find out exactly what's going on. Now, um, um, I've been having GPU problems with this. I'm going to take the GPU out of this one and put it inside a different computer to check and see what's been going on with it because my GPU has been crashing which this is a 745 um, GTX 745 so first thing you're going to need to do is flip this computer upside down as so and what you want to do is take get a nice box cutter that's very very sharp and what you want to do is just basically pull the seals like this you just don't want to break the seals right there you just want to pull it enough because this part right here is actually going to slide that way. So you just want to slide it this way. This was previously already pushed this way. As you can see, you just want to push it so it doesn't get caught on nothing. Boom. So once that's done, you see there's a screw right there. You can't see there's a screw right there. But what I'm going to do it so you can see it a little bit better. Let's use my iPhone. As you can see right there, there's a screw right there. So let's turn off the flashlight real quick. Okay. First thing you want to do is unscrew this. Just keep your screws in a location that you're not going to lose it at. There we go. Put one screw over there. Now we're going to flip it over. There's another screw that's actually on this part. So what you want to do is just pop it open. Look for the part that has a notch on it. So as you can see right here, there's a little notch right there. You want to just pop that open right there. There you go. Flip it back around. And just pop it off. That's all. Let's do it. Another screw. It's right there. So let's turn back on the light real quick so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Another screw sitting right there. As you can see, I'm going to just take this one out. Now, getting the GP out of this thing is very, 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 very quick. Okay, got the screw out right there. Boom, that's all the screws right there. That's going to worry about. So what you want to do is put this on its belly. You might want to pull it towards you a little. You just want to pull. Oh, wrong side. Sorry. <clears throat> That's my fault, guys. <clears throat> I'm going to turn it this way. Make sure I accidentally push the seal back on. Make sure the ROG logo, that you see the logo that says Republic for Gamings, right? Just want to pull this towards you a little. There you go. Pops out. Lift it up. Now it's cords right here. Don't worry about it. And this does not look like an NVIDIA card. This actually looks like a um, SS um, GPU or... A Zotax GPU. So you have cords right here. You can leave this connected if you want to. Right now, I suggest you do this. Once you got this part open right here, take your hands. If you're not basically wired down to a tape, whatever, take your hands, place it on top of here just like this, just to get that static shock off your body, whatever, like that. We should be good right now. But me, I'm gonna touch my screwdriver, touch this again. She got all electricity off my body. Um, Taking these plugs out is simple. It has numbers on it. It says 1 and 1, 2 to 2, so you don't have to worry about it. Just be careful of pulling it out because you don't want to damage the cords. So I suggest pulling it from the sides. As so. Boom, there we go. Put this to the side now. 
Next part we gotta do now is we gotta take this back bracelet off. So we're gonna flip it this way. You need to take one here, here, and here. So it's three screws that you need to take out for this. It's one at the top right here, it's one right here, and one right here at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is take the bottom one off first, which is located at the bottom. So flip it under, there's a screw right there. We wanna take that one out. Okay, one screw, I'm gonna place that screw inside my lens cap to my camera so I know exactly where one screw is. Second one is right here on the top. Best to get the um, screwdrivers that's magnetized. Last one, it's right here at the top. It's actually very easy to put this thing back together. Um, I've opened this type of um, computer before in the past with other computers I actually had. That's why I actually re brought one like this because I've worked on computers like this before in the actual computer like this one in the past. So to take it off, just slide it out and so. There you go, that's out right there. Put that to the side. Now, three screws right here. Basically to take the GPU out. So this is one screw right here, one right here, one right here, and the other one is right here. So we're going to do the exact same thing all over again. Just remember where you put your screws at. One screw right here. I'm going to place this next to my box cutter. Another screw is right here. Good thing I had that magnet on there. That screw is right here at the top. Just suck this cord in right here. Oh, that screwdriver just fell right out of my hand. And no, I'm not going to edit the video. Don't worry about stripping the screw, it's not going to strip, as long as you do it correctly. It might get jammed inside, just push down on it a little, while you unscrewing, and it should come right out. There we go, screw right there, there it screws. Now, getting this out is fairly simple. First thing you want to do is move this, take your screwdriver right here, push the flap down to the GPU, just make sure that it goes down. Now, when you take this out, first thing you want to do is put your finger in between here and pull up. As so, you should see it rise up just a little. Then you take this hand, pull up on that. As you can see, this is loose. Now take this finger, pull down on the case, and pull up. There you go. And you just remove the GPU out of the ACES. ROG G20 AJ and there's the GPU right there. So I'm going to do some tests on this on a different computer and see exactly why this card is um, crashing. I'm going to probably upgrade this computer to a GTX 1050 or a 1050 Ti. Um, I can exchange the hard drive out, all the stuff right here. As you see the hard drive is right here. Um, here's all your stuff right here for your GPU. GPU is actually on the here. Let me um, can change the GPU on um, your GPU to a um, i5 or i7 this pc is very very upgradable so if you plan on doing that go ahead shouldn't have no problems and i'll catch you guys in my next video remember live it love it game it peace induces and i'll catch you guys later long holla